but he's 140. Yeah, that doesn't sound too good now, do it, right? So, welcome back to the channel, Boxing on Rap. I'm Emmett if the artist. Let's get right to it. So, listen, <laughs> this Prime card was, was dope. I'm very happy with this Prime video card. I didn't personally get to see it. The prelims were, were the two prelim fights were great. And this card overall, if there was ever a case for saying, listen, I'm going to give you four, four world championship fights that are very exciting and very well matched up, and you're going to have the best seat in the house and it's only 80 bucks, then that $80 pay-per-view was actually worth it because you had a lot of landscape changing that made sense, right? And it was good for boxing. It was good for prime. Now, let's get to this fight. I didn't think it was going to be this with a one-sided beatdown. Now, listen, Roley does have some good things that he does. Sometimes he can work off the jab well like he did in this fight. And sometimes, and he does have a pretty decent speed. He, he has a really quick um, right and left hand, right? He can jab quickly and get that right hand in. It's just he's so damn awkward with his defense, right? If his defense was tighter... And he learned a little more fundamentals. And he's still young. He can switch trainers and get that done. Roley wouldn't be as bad as he is now. What keeps Roley from actually being a legitimate threat and contender at, at any weight is his defense and his balance. Work on those things. Tighten that up. And you're still pretty young. You can become something that's respectable in the 140 and above weight classes. Because the kid can pop. Now, and he has a chin. I mean, Tank knocked him out. That's Tank. He has a chin. We saw that here. He's in great shape. So there's a lot of things positive for Roley. It's just that he, his defense and his balance are so bad. And his delivery system sometimes of his punches are so bad because he's off balance. So he, the way he tries to throw punches is terrible. Uh, but kudos to Isaac Cruz who took advantage of those things and actually look better and more disciplined than he did in his last fight uh with Timu version of Garcia I forget the kid's name um and the way he looked at with, with uh with Tank right he looked better but then that's Roley right but then again Roley was giving Tank some angle issues and was doing better than we thought he did until he got knocked out so if you compare both like opponents, Isak Cruz had a better outing two times, right? Like one against Tank, better than, you know, better than we thought he would have made. And now the guy who gave Tank a little bit of a fight until he got knocked out, which was Roley, he looked better against Roley than Tank did from round one to the end, right? So I'm just making a comparison to show you that Isak Cruz is smaller than Tank Davis. Yeah, he moved up to 140, no rehydration clause. That's why I said what I said in the beginning. And looked better than Tank did versus Roley. Not, not saying that Isak Cruz will beat Tank now. No, what I'm saying is if little Isak Cruz can move up with no rehydration clause, so can Tank Davis, who's slightly bigger than Isak Cruz. There's no excuse. So now we have a champion that won 40, Isak Cruz. Listen, Matias, if there's ever a champion, you need to go after the unified Isak Cruz. That's the fight to make. That, that's it right there. I would not go to Devin Haney. That everybody's going to look at Isak Cruz. Devin Haney's going to look at Isak Cruz. You know, everybody, Matias versus Isa Cruz will be an action-packed fight. And I think Matias will pull it out, become unified, let Haney unify versus Tio, let the winner of that come see you, Matias, at 140 for all the marbles. That's your, that's, that's your super fight. That's the fight you want to make. But man, was that an exciting fight, even though it was one-sided. I mean, he beat Roli Romero, pillar to post, and back again. I mean, if that ref, that ref saved his life in the eighth round, it was, it was crazy the way he manhandled Roley. 
And Roley's a big kid. And it did not matter. And this is the night of size does not matter. Pause. It was just, it is what it was. Man, what a great night of fights. I'm sad I missed it live, but I'm watching the highlights and the replays. And, man, listen, it, 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 thank God I didn't find out who won ahead of time. So I kind of saw it as a surprise when I watched it. But, you know, this is it was a great night for boxing. I hope Prime and PBC, with the stable that they have, keep putting these great matchups together because this is what needs to happen. You know, and I hope everybody can work with each other to get their good fighters that are under their promotional umbrella into doing these type of fights so we don't, again, get stuck with this side of the fence again, this side of the road thing, you know. But let me know in the comments below, what did you think about this fight? Do you think now that Matias should really be the one aiming for Isai Cruz? Do you think that what I said for unification and undisputed should be what happens. Let me know in the comments down below. And see you in the next one. And I'm out.